this is a very challenging indices question. If you see carefully on this question, you realize you will see so many unknowns there, which is M, Y, and N. There's so many unknowns here, and you only have one equation. Because the math basic logic tells us that if you have so many unknown, you basically you need multiple equations for you to do simultaneous. So what if you only have one equation and you want to find all the M, N, and Y? This is how you should do it. So for this kind of question, they ask us to find the value of N and N. So over here, it doesn't mention about Y. So it just assume Y is sort of the variable like X and Y. And M and N, I will just assume they are constant. Then over here, in order to solve them, I will use a very special method we call comparing. Comparing their power. Okay, this is how I will do. So first thing is, I will analyze here. I have N divided by Y squared. So I will call this one at N divided by y squared actually is same meaning like multiply y power of negative 2 isn't it because y squared at the denominator is power should have negative then over here i will only differentiate like this one is constant constant this is variable y so whatever have y i will group them out then i will compare with the power of negative 2 Whichever do not have y, which is not y, like m, like some number, I will group them and co comparing with the power of n, which is 1. Or I can call it n is the non-y value. Alright, this is what I will do. This is m squared, I will copy m squared over 3. Alright, this is 3 power of m, so I will multiply 3 power of m. y cubed power of m, then y power of 3m, I will take it out later. Then over here, I have y, I will do it later. So I have 2 power of m plus 2, isn't it? I will put over here, 2 power of m plus 2. Alright. Then over here, just now, you have y power of, multiply, y power of m plus 2. Over, this is y power of 3m, isn't it? y power of 3m. How I can simply like move around, I can only do like this if, the relationship between all these three terms, they are multiply each other. Then I can just simply move to wherever I want. I can just move to the denominator. I can swap around the numerator. I can also swap around if I want to. Alright, then over here, you can see what I'm trying to do is, this is the whole thing, but equals to y power of negative 2. So that's me. In this first law, tell me divide basically mean minus, isn't it? So y m plus 2 divide mean minus 3 power of m must equal to the this thing must equal to this thing isn't it y power of negative 2 by doing this one i now i can just comparing their power m minus 3m which is 2 minus 2m must equal to negative 2 by solving this one 2m must equal to 4 then m will equal to 2 okay this is how I find the m value, but we haven't n yet because we still need to find the n. So I know n basically are the term with which no y, which is not y. So over here you can see this is what I will do is this m is two, isn't it? I will straight away plug my two into the m here. So this is two power of two, which is four over three. Multiply three power of two, which is nine. 2 power of 2 plus 2, which is 2 power of 4, which is 16. The whole thing will equal to n. Then by solving this one, I should be able to get my n value. This is 3, this is 4. So my n is 3 over 4. Do you see, until the n, I also never find the y value. Because the question only asked me to find m and n. So I hope this short video can help you to understand how to solve this kind of complicated indices question.